Living organisms inherit their traits. Learning Objectives Today we will be understanding what inheritance is, and that living organisms differ from their offspring in some of their traits. We will also be understanding that members of the same species can also differ in their traits, and that there are differences in the traits between males and females of the same species. Hello, my friends. Look at this elephant and its offspring. Notice, my friends, that the small elephant looks very similar to its father. They both have the same skin color, a long trunk, and the same ear shape. This means the offspring of elephants share many traits with their fathers. And now look here. We have a bear with its offspring. Did you notice the similarity between the children and their father? The bear offspring share with their father some traits such as the color of their fur and much more. And likewise, the horse's offspring. He looks like his father. They both have the same color hair and appearance. We notice that many animals look like their parents. This is because the traits were passed down from the parents to the offspring. This is called inheritance. Inheritance, my friends, is the passing down of traits from the parents to the offspring. And now, look at this rooster and its little one. Do the offspring of roosters look like their parents? Hmm, definitely not. Chicks differ from roosters in some traits. We find that the color of the feathers are different, but both of their bodies are covered in feathers. And the same here, my friends. This is a swan with her little ones. Notice that they differ in some traits. The mother swan has different colored feathers than her offspring, and her beak is a different color too. The offspring's beaks are black, and the mother's beak is orange. And likewise, the cat and her little ones. The mother has different colored fur than her offspring. So, my friends, we can infer that living organisms and their offspring can differ in some traits. And these differences don't only exist between living organisms and their offspring. For example, this dog has four legs and a tail, and his fur is brown and black. While this dog has four legs and a tail, its color is white. His body is covered in hair and he has a big tail. And this dog is the same. He has four legs, but he is black. Notice, my friends, that these dogs differ in some traits, even though they are all of the same species. And if we look at this rabbit, his fur is white and his tail is long. But this one, his fur is brown, and he also has a long tail. But this rabbit is beautiful. His fur is white and gray, and he has two long ears. So, we notice again that members of the same species have different traits. And likewise, these horses, they all have four legs and a long tail, but their fur differs in color. This one is brown. But this one is white. And finally, this one is black. Now, my friends, we can conclude from all of this that differences in traits exist between members of the same species. Great job! Ah, look what we have here. We have a lion and a lioness. The lion, my friends, is a male, and the lioness is a female. Do you notice differences between the male and female? Good job! The lion has a thick mane, while the lioness does not. And likewise this rooster and this chicken. The male is the rooster and the female is the chicken. What do you notice? Great! They are different. The rooster has a red piece of flesh above his head, while the chicken does not. The feathers also look different than each other. And likewise, the peacock, my friends. The male peacock is different from the female peacock. The male has a long tail, while the female does not. So, we can conclude, my friends, that differences in traits exist between males and females of the same species. Together we learned the meaning of inheritance, and that there are differences in traits between living organisms and their offspring. There are also differences in traits between members of the same species 
and between males and females of the same species.